welcome to Benny and Beyond. I'm Fionn. And I'm Reese. And this is Benny, a Volkswagen T4 that we converted ourselves and now live in full time. We've already been on some amazing adventures with Benny. We battled the freezing temperatures in Scotland. We basked in the sun in the south of France. And we braved the storms in Ireland. But now it's time to go further afield. We're about to embark on our biggest trip yet. 12 countries in three months, all in a little van. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's hit the road. Our journey begins with a foggy morning in England as we make our way to the ferry port. After boarding, it was only an hour and a half before we arrived in sunny Calais. Hi, we've just pulled over. Ferry crossing was lovely. It was really smooth. Yeah. I quite enjoy sailing with Irish ferries, you know. Yeah, I like it. We, to be fair, every ferry crossing we've had has gone quite smooth. Yes. It just depends on the boat, really, like yeah. how nice it is. But this one was good. Yeah, it was lovely. So we come off at Calais, we sort of did like a straight run straight through Calais because mm -hmm. everyone tells you don't stop in Calais. And I think we're somewhere around Dunkirk now. Yeah, just past maybe. Somewhere around there. It's bloody boiling. Yeah, sun is truly out. So it we've is. just pulled over to... Um, well, Strip off. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> we've got these jumpers on. I've got joggers on. Same. <laughs> so get into some shorts and um, make our way to... Uh, Belgium. Yeah, our first stop today is Bruges, which we are super excited about. Something we've both heard really good things about. Oh yeah. So I'm excited to see if it lives up to what everybody said. So yeah, I just need to get out of this jumper. I am roasting yeah. in here. Right, let's, let's, uh, let's go. the famous Belgian waffle. Yeah, I'm really excited. This was something I really wanted to do in Belgium. Oh, that's rich. Oh, let me have some. We are uh, made, we are what? What? <laughs> made it to Bruges. Yes, that was on today's agenda after coming off of the ferry, was to head straight to Bruges. And honestly, haven't really walked around yet, but just driving through, gorgeous. Such a cute, what do you say, quaint? Yeah, yeah, quaint's a really good word for it. It's lovely, we've barely seen it yet. So hurry up, finish your waffle. I know, first stop was the <laughs> waffles. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case every day, if this is just a very touristy area, which I imagine it is. Well, that was nice. But I think it's, um, I think there's some events on today. There seem to be, surely. yeah, there seem to be a lot of commotion in certain areas. So, surely it can't be this busy all the time. Who knows, it might be. I don't know, it is gorgeous. So. It does live up to the height. Oh, hundred percent. Definitely. This is probably the most beautiful town I've ever been to. Is it a town or a city? I think it's a city. It's stunning. Yes, I agree. The architecture here is something else, and for this to be our first like stop on the trip, this is day a bit one. Mad, yeah. I think we've sort of hit it off with a belter, <laughs> but yeah, it's oh, the stonework on these buildings is absolutely incredible. It's beautiful. My goodness, what is this? <laughs> Here for half a day, 
Yeah. Oh, for day. I want to move here. <laughs> it's. I love it. I love the country. It's. It's just. Every street is. There's something interesting to say, isn't there? Yeah. Not even like in the city, definitely. Oh yeah. Every corner you turn, every little alleyway, there's just something beautiful. Just a nice surprise waiting for you. Yeah. But all the houses here, they're, they're so nicely presented. It's so clean. We haven't seen next to we've seen next to no litter yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, very well maintained. Like all the, you know, like the roundabouts, the public areas are all very well maintained as well. It's, it's quite refreshing. Oh yes, yeah. People yeah. take pride clearly. Yeah. Uh, never seen so many cyclists in my life. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the rest of Belgium has to offer now. Yeah, they've, they've started off with the bank. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so explored Bruges, loved it. Yep. Now oh, cyclists. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not used to this many. Uh, so now we've left the city, we're taking quite a scenic country road route to um, our park up for the night. Sorry, I'm trying not to run over a cyclist. That bump was not the cyclist. No, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, ran them over in the end. It was easier. <laughs> no, um, they easy. turned off eventually. So what I was trying to say was that we were taking like the very scenic route through the countryside to our park up, and we have now arrived. There's actually another camper here, and someone else was coming down. I don't know whether they're going to stay. They don't look like a camper. I don't know. They might be. Mm. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. I think. Yeah next to the canal it's very nice oh he's oh. a fisherman ah fishing I van his, i can see his fish and stuff i'm a little bit worried about mosquitoes if you've seen our france series you will have seen what happened the last time we parked anywhere with mosquitoes in the vicinity so far it looks okay yeah i'm just um i've got to put the mozzie net up yet you know i haven't yeah. had the chance yet Oh man, I'm roasting in here. I know it's. I need to go it's outside. Hot. It's 21 degrees already, and we oh. still gotta go all the way south. <laughs> God. Turns out our spot seems to be a bit of a highway for boats. So you know. It's been non-stop. Pretty cool boats though. Should probably show you the spot now. A couple of other campers here. Not too bad, it's quiet, it's really quiet up in the evening as well. Not too shabby. It's better. Reese is just about to start cooking dinner. You're very happy, aren't you? Well, me too. Well. So, we've just fitted this. It's, it's not. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's, it's functional. Exactly. It's functional. I mean, it's like the rest of the van. That's what we aim for functionality. Yeah, over anything else. And um, it works. And it's flat. Is it enough? I don't know, I haven't put a level on it. It looks pretty flat. I think it's flat. I think it's flat. <laughs> I mean, it's flat. So, look at this setup he's got now. He's loving life. This is the shit. <laughs> They're fantastic. Ainsley, what are they called? Are they all called flavour bombs? Yeah. Ainsley flavour bombs. Yeah. Oh, they're, and they're so good for in the van because, I mean, it's van our oh, small. We don't have the space, the luxury no. to carry everything you need to. Every spice. Yeah. So, spice packs and these. It's literally just. Like a paste. Yeah, with everything you need, and they taste fantastic. So, are they? I think they're an Asda exclusive. I've only, I've only ever seen them in Asda, yeah, same. UK. But if you can get your hands on them, try them. They are quite spicy, but they're good. They're really flavourful. So just cooking up dinner now, and we've met a few friends. Me, you're like perfectly behind me. <laughs> Our first van lifers, I think, that we've met while on the road. Is that fair to say? Yeah. I like that we've properly chatted to got along with. It's like an hour. Mm. Two? Three. Three. 
people have put their handles up on the screen because they do YouTube as well and they are really supportive of us, weren't they? They're really nice. I'm just going with all Steph and Boo. I'll pop it somewhere <laughs> by there. I'm going to try my best here. Um, but they were lovely. Very excited to hear when they said, you know, we have a small channel, they have a channel. And yeah, yeah it was great. It was nice. There's a big someone who's going to kind of very, something very similar. Yeah, and they built their van as yeah. well. Belgium. They're travelling all over. Is it to Australia and yeah. everything? So they gave us some recommendations, which was nice. So definitely check out their channel if you're into van life content. I'll speak to you next when we've when, got dinner. Stop. Okay, food is finished. We picked up these really big, like look at that, um, flatbread Pit pitters. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to like fill them. You know, we got the garlic mayo. We got some lettuce, we got cheese. Forgot the cucumber. Oh, I know, I'm fuming. I love cucumber in a wrap. Mm. Oh well. There you go. What was my thumb? There you <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, so we have finally settled down for the evening now. Finished Lots food. Time. It's 10 to 10. 20 to 10. <laughs> I was thinking, mm. <laughs> were you lying? just read it wrong <laughs> but yeah 10 out of 10 loved Bruges today we've had a brilliant first day to the trip we'll touch wood <laughs> see how the rest of it goes but brilliant first day and I'm really pleased I couldn't ask for more for the first day as yeah, no. it's, been, it's been a good like a solid 10 out of 10 day yeah on the weather oh and the reason why I was so busy yes we found out we spoke to Steph and Bo and they said that it was a public holiday yeah Public holiday, Labour Day, I think they said as well. Yeah. So, like, a lot of people have the day off. It's a nice weather, a lot of tourists. The yeah. locals are also off, so they're f celebrating. Everything's happening at once. So, it was just manic. It was just a bit of a silly day to choose to go, but we didn't, we had no clue. No. But they, because we were like, is Bruges usually that busy? And they were like, no. No. It's busy, but it's not that didn't, busy. Didn't spoil the experience, though. No. We still had a lovely day. But that's it for today. That's, yes. That's all. That's all she wrote. <laughs> that's what? All she wrote. I don't know. <laughs> well, you're all, that's all she wrote. Who's she and what's she writing? The saying, isn't it? No. That's all she wrote. You know this. Google it. It's American. Well, I'm telling you. It was Sorry. A saying. Who are you? Well, uh, it's a saying. I've heard my nan say it. Oh no! <laughs> Lovely morning, just park up, everyone's gone, and uh, left with this little horses. It's just a really nice park up. Loved it. So, not the van now, ready to go. Good morning, I don't think we've said good morning. No, I don't think we have. Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> it's, uh, New day, we had a lot of fog in this morning. That's mostly rolled out. Yeah, it looks really good now. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit overcast, but it's warmer. Yeah, it's <laughs> warm and dry, so that's good. We've um said goodbye. She's Stephen Yeah. Home. And And Gizmo. Oh, oh, can't, can't forget obviously. Gizmo. And uh, lovely people. We took a nice quick photo and trying to see if our lines our paths will cross. Yes, our paths will cross. Yeah. And um Oh. oh, hold on, hold on. Little, little ducklings. Oh, bless. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> see, if, see if we'll cross paths. And also, um, they'd be coming over to the UK at some point, so. It'd be lovely to see them when they come over. Give them a tour of Wales, our country. Yeah. And everything it has to offer. So, yeah, really nice. So, on the way now to Brussels. Yes, Brussels yeah. is our stop for today. We'll see how much time we have after Brussels if we manage to do anything else with our day. But yeah, hopefully, but that's the aim. yeah, I want to get some Belgian fries. <laughs> and some chocolate. Yeah, Bo said that's what we had to do. Oh yeah.
what are your thoughts? It's gorgeous, isn't it? I do prefer Bruges. However, as a big city, especially a capital city, I think this is gorgeous. Again, the stonework is incredible. It's just so ornate. I love it. I also went to a chocolatier's because when in Belgium, right? I think it's the law. <laughs> So much better than the other one, that's amazing. Where's Benny? Can you see her? There she is. <laughs> storm inside instead. What are we cooking? Bit of a, I don't know, it's turned into a bit of a classic in the van now. Uh, taco pasta. I think this is like the third time we've had it, but oh, it just hits the spot. Especially if it's a bit, like a bit of a drizzly day. It's not too warm now. The, the sun has left us. It's a, a good hearty meal. Well, that's simmering away. I'm just editing the, the videos from our last time we were in Europe. That didn't go as well, but I mean, we're only on day two. That's a bit <laughs> <laughs> no, presumptuous. I, I'm manifesting. This is okay. this is the one. This is the one. We'll cut to that clip if anything ever goes <laughs> wrong in the next three months. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Don't say that. And dinner is served. Taco pasta for two. Excited? It smells like tea. Tea. You having a stroke? No, that's, that's, uh, toast. that's toast. That's toast. <laughs> Good morning. It's a new day. Last night we stayed, and it, we actually went to two spots, mm -hmm. but it was raining all day yesterday, so it was important that we found somewhere with hard standing gravel yeah. and concrete. Um, the first spot we found was just covered in, in mud. Yeah. It was so muddy. It was a bit risky, wasn't it? Yeah, we did not fancy getting stuck. No, and apparently, according to Park for Night, a lot of farm traffic went down there. So I was also a bit worried about the level of mud on the floor kicking up at the van as we were parked slightly off the road. So it wasn't quite suitable. So it's a little bit later in the morning today because we've sort of waited for the rain to pass a little. Which it has, mostly now. It looks, touch wood, yeah, touch wood. It's looking okay. Very overcast, but that's fine. So uh, today's plan is to head to Dinant, I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a little city set on a river. Apparently it's really pretty, it's a lovely little place to visit. So on our way south to Luxembourg, that's our next stop. Uh, we've just done a little food shop, well I did. A little Aldi. Yeah, the supermarkets, a bit more expensive than we expected in Belgium. Yeah, a little bit more expensive than France. I don't know if perhaps it's just Aldi that we expect to be cheap and it's yeah. not and it's different here. It could just be this region. Could be. As well, we don't. Yeah, I paid uh, €9.49 for um, a kilo of chicken, mm. which I think back home would be about 
six seven pounds yeah it's um, about it's about pound 52 pound more expensive than what we would have paid yeah so yeah so we've done a little food shop we've just sort of topped ourselves up because we're going to do a major food shop in a few days time yeah um before we head to switzerland because uh everybody's advice has been do not shop in switzerland <laughs> Yeah, we're planning on not buying a thing. Yeah, we're going to hit the road now and hopefully the rain stays at bay so that we can walk around Denant a little bit and explore. That would be lovely, stretch our That'd legs. Yeah, and then that's it, about half an hour. Yeah. Trying its bit. best. We're having a lovely little walk, aren't we? Along this river, it's a path straight to what we think is the picturesque part, yes. the bit that you see everywhere. Yeah, the so, more, uh, like, They were fake. I thought they were fake. And then as they well. started moving. Jeez. Oh, not something I expected to see in Belgium. No. To see where that goes. This is a much, much better spot. This idyllic is so quiet. All you can hear is the birds. I think this is a good type of a conversation about why we started Ben and Beyond. We started it as just a reason to, just a way to document our travels and um, something to, to look back from, to relive it and throughout the last year and a half we've got more and more enjoyment out of the whole process of recording and making a video. We find ourselves getting a little better which motivates us to, to do more. And another kind of, I want to say a side effect of, of these videos is that it does, it pushes us to do more than what we would usually do. If it's a little bit rainy or not feeling it, instead of just spending the day in the van, we push ourselves to do something new, to, uh, to get the camera out and record it if it goes right or wrong and get us a little bit of our comfort zones. But, we're having an absolute whale of a time and we're hoping that this journey is uh, well, the best one yet. So we've been walking for about 30 minutes now and uh, gave Fiona a message saying she's got to come and do this. So I'm heading back and in the morning we'll uh, have a nice morning walk, stretch our legs a little bit so she can experience this too because uh, I don't want to miss out on this. So absolutely beautiful woodland. Would be a shame to miss it. Doing things a little bit differently tonight, aren't we? The thing is, for God's sake! As just shown, there's gusts of wind every now and again, uh, which means cooking outside. We'd have to move the van to get out of the way of the wind, 
otherwise it puts the flame out on our hob. There's compromises for living in such a small van. So what we'd usually do is just cook up here, which you've seen us do many a time. But I didn't want to, because it's a nice day. It was supposed to be raining all day, and the sun's come out, blue skies, over that way. You can hear the birds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it is lovely out. So this is the compromise of I'm outside, but I'm cooking inside. This uh, so on top of the fridge it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Considering that's a van paella. I wouldn't call it a, it's not oil, I mean, don't call it a paella. It's definitely not a paella. No, it's that's a, true. So it's, it's chicken and rice. Yep. There's chicken and rice. <laughs> it's very late now. It's not actually, it's probably about 11 o'clock. Oh no, it's 20 past 11. Oh, it's, it's very late now. That's it's 20 it. past 11, that guys. <laughs> After dinner, we, to be honest, we didn't really do much. We've just edited, haven't we? Yeah, just caught up really and uh, that took a big chunk of our evening yeah if you'd like to see like more of the reality of what actually happens when you live in a van especially a van this as, small as small as ours yes. what we do when uh, once we get to a park up what what do we do then mm. let us know because we find that kind of stuff interesting but we live in a van so we're quite nosy about what other people do. <laughs> nosy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We like to see it, don't we? We like yeah. to see what other people get I would say we have an interest. So yeah, if you'd like to see that kind of thing, let us know. Because to be honest, it's not that different to what you do in a normal house. At least it's, for us. Yeah, it's just more adapted because we're in such a small yeah. space is probably the long and short Cook, of it. Play games, board games. Yeah. Snacks. It's our home. Exactly. So yeah, tonight we didn't do too much to be honest, we just edited. Now we're going to pan out our day for tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow, where are we going? Luxembourg. Tomorrow, yes. that is pretty much as far as we've got. Yep. That's what we know as a certainty and everything else, we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's what we need to figure out now. And then I think we should go to sleep. Yeah, so that's it. See yeah. you in the morning. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. We really hope you've enjoyed seeing us start our Euro trip. This marks the start of three months on the road full time. Our biggest trip yet and we cannot be more excited. We've got so much planned, Definitely so do. much to see, so much to do, all in a little van. Goes to show that you can literally do anything on any kind of budget. Like who would have thought a year ago that we would be taking Benny all around all these amazing countries in three months so make sure you stay tuned we'll have videos up hopefully every week if not week and a half yeah we'll be uh, getting as much content out as we can for you guys so make sure you follow along definitely and if you're not already follow us on instagram follow us on tiktok we do a lot more short form content over there as well more in-depth looks at what we do day to day kind of thing so you might enjoy that as well as our long form content and don't forget subscribe like comment it all helps the channel immensely